Okay. It's definitely a lot quieter here. My name's Gillian. I work for a remote company and I want to go over the pros and cons of working remotely. Um, sorry, there's a bush turkey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like running. Um, I don't want to move the camera because I got it in a good spot. <laughs> So I work for a crypto company and yes, I do get paid. <laughs> it's not a scam. Uh, they've, it's a technology company and it happens to be within crypto and Web3. Hence the whole of our team is in different locations. Um, even within Australia, they're in different states. And then we've got people in Europe and Asia, all over the world. I'm gonna start with the pros because they're pretty obvious and then I'll get on to the cons um, because it is really good. So I can work from anywhere. I'm in Byron Bay right now. Um, I'm looking towards the beach, really nice. It's winter in Victoria where I'm from. And so I feel very lucky that um, I can just come up here for a couple of months. I didn't have to tell my teammates at all. <laughs> I didn't have to tell my boss, my manager, whatever. I didn't tell them <laughs> because it doesn't matter. They don't, it doesn't matter where I live um, as long as I'm doing my work and that's it. Yeah, that is, feels like a lot of freedom, honestly. Like I've never had a job where, you, you, well, the, what job do you have that where you can just go and be somewhere else for a couple of months without letting anyone know? Um, no, that's what's so good about remote working and working from anywhere. You have a lot of freedom it, and it feels like freedom. Like there's a nice feeling that you don't have to be like, um, excuse me, can I go up north for a bit? To anyone, you're just accountable to yourself. So I can essentially go on a holiday and still work. So I can enjoy my weekends up here or after hours. I'm working about 30 hours a week so I have time to come to the beach for my lunch break um, or in the mornings I've been going surfing so that's really nice as well so it's almost feels a li little bit like a holiday but I'm still earning money and enjoying living somewhere else. Another thing that is good for me um, in the job I have, and it probably wouldn't be relevant to everyone, but I can work my own hours really. So lately I've been doing a work in the morning and then having a break during the day and then working later at night just because of the time difference of people in Europe and things like that. Um, it works out and it works for my body schedule because I don't, do well in big chunks you know so I wake up and I do some work and then I feel like not doing some work and then and then later on I'll um, when there's more people online I'll tie up some loose ends and that really works well for me and it feels good and I've done my work for the day but in my on my time um, so that's lucky about my job my specific job because um, I don't think all remote jobs would work that way. So yeah, all of the obvious things, working from anywhere, working from your laptop, going to cafes to work, um, they're all the pros of working remotely. I'm sure there's many more, but the cons, because people want to know about the cons. People want to know why it sucks. <laughs> people don't care about positivity. They want negative, no. Because <laughs> um, it isn't all great, you know, there are negative sides to working from home. The first one I've written down is lonely. It's lonely. I don't see anyone, <laughs> like apart from on the screen and I don't have a lot of meetings. I have some meetings, but a lot of it is done on chat. Um, and yeah, it's definitely a little bit lonely. Um, it's nice to have human interaction and I don't get a lot of that with my job at the moment and I imagine other people who work remotely would feel similar. Um, that can also be a pro though, you don't have to deal with people <laughs> as much, which is nice. So mm, take the good with the bad. Um, 
The second one I've written down is self-motivation. Oh my God, that is a tough one. No one's looking over your shoulder. You're not going into a specific place. Um, a lot of working, especially in offices and corporate life, is just showing up and I wouldn't say pretending to work, but like you're physically there. So if it takes a while for you to get a task done, people know you're working on it. And I think, you know, work, there's a lot of, especially in corporate land, there's a lot of procrastination in getting tasks done. Um, it just is the way it is. Uh, if, yeah, that's, it's just how people work. Um, so when you work from home or any location, you can put things off. And so you have to be really so self-motivated to get the work done. Um, especially for me, I work on an hourly rate, so um, I contract per hour. So if I don't do any work, that's fine, but I don't get paid. Um, so, and you want to obviously be a good employee, so you don't want to be not working um, and not delivering, but it can, things can slip by the side because you need to be really self-motivated to be able to work remotely. Oh, communication. So communication is really hard when you work remotely. So when you work with people, you have a lot of communication, incidental chats, just stuff comes up and then you, you can collaborate on things even though you might not be in the same team or whatever. Um, but that has to be scheduled in when you work remotely. So that can be really hard and a lot of our stuff is done via chatting um, and in where we use Discord and that can that can get really tricky because you know often you're in, might be in a hurry or whatever and you read something and you read it not fully or whatever so it and it's hard to take in I don't know communication is hard or you can't you can't un, you don't know the tone um, there's not you don't get to know someone who they are and how they operate and what their sense of humor is like when you don't when you work remotely because you don't meet them in person when you meet someone in person you can get a vibe for who they are and you don't get to do that with um, remote working so that's a tough one can feel like there's not a community feeling because you haven't met in person as well so um, yeah it can be a bit lonely like that that's just adding um, into the loneliness um, Another thing is you pay for like co-working, there's no office, so if you want to go co-work, you're going to pay. If you go to a cafe, you have to buy something, um, so that can add up. Um, so those things definitely are a con, because when you work in an office or a physical space, usually you get some perks for doing that, for coming in, um, so that, that can add up. and. Yeah, it's not all rosy, is it? <laughs> I mean, going to cafes is pretty good. <laughs> um, okay, boredom. So, yeah, another reason, like, you could get really bored um, working remotely. Like, it's not, like I said, it's, it, like, people glamorise it. And it is good. Like, I, I can't, I don't know if, I don't know how I'll be able to go back to a normal job like in not Web3, let alone um, just a normal corporate job, uh, would be very hard for me to go back um, because one pro I didn't mention was like, you can get all your washing done. <laughs> People know that when from since COVID working from home, you just have so much time to do all those mundane tasks that you wouldn't do. <laughs> it in work time don't tell me you don't but, but you know you could do it in your lunch break you can do it in your 15 minute break here and there um put the washing on and then get it sorted and then you don't waste your weekend doing those lame mundane tasks that no one wants to do so anyway it is boring it, it can be boring though working from home just on your own you're like hi and then if you have a partner and they come home you're like <laughs> you just want to talk it's like human interaction ah you know so you've got to be even more self-made self-motivated to have hobbies or interests outside of your work um to force yourself to go for a walk or all of those things 
Another con about working remotely is you can't work in the sunshine. It's impossible. The glare, the um, you just can't. You just can't sit in the sun. Um, even though people like to post those pictures of laptop lifestyle and luxury and all that, that's ridiculous. They're not working. They're they're frying their laptop probably, and also just they're just doing it for the photo. So that is actual BS. No one works in the sun. It's really annoying. You can't see a laptop and you need to be hidden away to do this job that you probably don't even want to do anyway. Just because I work remotely <laughs> doesn't mean it's my... I won't say that. <laughs> I guess I wonder if my colleagues see it. Um, yeah, anyway, so those are my pros and cons for working remotely. I'm, I feel really grateful that I am able to do this and I pinch myself but it does feel normal now um, which is why I'm a bit worried because I don't think I could go back to not having this freedom yeah but you know everything it's not for everyone it's definitely not for everyone definitely um, I think I'm that type of person who I'm a bit free-spirited, so I enjoy the highs and lows and the uncertainties as well. Um, it's definitely not a certain career path that I've chosen, but this is who I am and this is what I do. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go back because i got to go back home so I can go to work. <laughs> See ya.